Now, hypothetically, if we did have access to all the advanced space-age technological components, composites, and gadgets necessary to field a mechanized warrior with comparable functionality, logistical, and maintenance requirements to a modern mechanized unit, how should they be designed to make them truly combat effective? By which I mean, mainly, how do we make it not scream, shoot me, quite so forcefully, and how can we make it competitive with other armored options like tanks or APCs? Well, the answer to the first question is quite obvious. Make it smaller. I'd say a maximum of 12 to 15 feet, as that's roughly the height of the average armored vehicle today, and weighing in at no more than 5 to 10 tons fully loaded. Personally, I see a mech warrior being the modern strategic variant of the medieval bastard sword, essentially a halfway compromise between a primarily one-handed arming sword and a primarily two-handed longsword. In essence, if we take powered armor to their logical extent, we'd be looking at an effective hybridization of heavy infantry and a tank. As for what such a machine would actually physically look like, I imagine a modular chassis with a 40k dreadnought's hitbox, an A-10's survivability and the emergency bug-out feature of the Titans from Titanfall. And just to quickly address the elephant in the room, the reason I haven't been mentioning the Titans is because I regard them in basically the same vein as a Gundam, cool and fun, but ultimately more magic than science tech. Anywho, I think that about wraps up my thoughts regarding this matter.